Let's understand through this video the most commonly used assessment technique, the ICF model. For the ones who heard this for the first time, let me tell you what this scale is and why it is so important. The International Classification of Functioning Disability and Health is a framework by WHO as a holistic approach to evaluate disability and find a solution through it. This can be used in any of your patient who has disability no matter the condition is, like stroke, spinal cord injury, head injury, and even low back pain, etc. Today, we'll simplify how to apply the ICF model for your patients in your clinical practice. This will be real helpful. Watch till the end. The first step is to understand four key components in this. The first one is body structure and functions. Impairments like muscle weakness, spasticity, or cognitive deficits post-stroke will be noted down under this point. All structural impairments in body, irrespective of the condition, you can include here in this category. Second is the activity limitations. Here in this category is all the daily activities that patient does or wants to do, but requires assistance and cannot do independently are listed, like walking, dressing, eating, etc. Later, these activities list will be used as goals of rehabilitation. Third is participation. In this category, we list restrictions in work, social roles, or hobbies of the patient. For example, does the patient have any occupation, etc.? And fourth one is the contextual factors. These are further divided into two, the environmental factors and the personal factors. This category will include points such as environment barriers for patient, age, motivation, family support, etc. So after understanding the key components, we put these into a chart format in this way. Now let's learn this in steps. The first step is to note down the patient's diagnosis or the health condition simply. The second step is start from the structural and functional impairments. Note down all the limitations you assess in patient in this category. Example, the stroke patient might have spasticity. You can note down spasticity here. Third is the activity limitations. Assess all the limitations of patients in daily life. Independent eating, dressing, walking, etc. Note all activities in this category. Fourth is the patient participation, restrictions in work, social roles, or hobbies. All of such points are listed under this category. Fifth is the environmental and personal factors. These contextual factors play major role in planning rehabilitation of a patient. The goal of rehabilitation can only be made considering these factors. Now, considering all these factors, you will have a very clear picture of patient's condition in front of you. Fill this chart for every patient you see in the same format. This will be applicable in all patients, irrespective of the diagnosis. This is a very amazing skill you can develop, and it will help you a lot to plan whole rehabilitation for the patient. You can plan therapy isolatedly for each point, and patient will have best therapy outcomes. ICF model is a powerful tool that helps create a patient-centered, holistic approach in rehabilitation. Using the ICF model, you can truly make a difference in a patient's journey to recovery. Thanks for watching.